Hello, I've done something completely out of my comfort zone. My comfort zone is somewhere over there at the moment. Uh, I've come to a car museum and I'm talking in front of, well, there's no one here at the moment, but you have to take my word for it, I was. This is the Great British Car Journey. It's a museum up north. Where are we again? Dar Derby, somewhere near Derby. And um, basically this is quite a cool place. So it's an entirely British collection of cars. But the difference with some of these is they've got a thing here, a feature called Drive Dad's Car. I don't know why it's Dad's Car. It, maybe it's Mum's as well. Um, but you can pay money and you can drive these cars around their little private course here, which is unique. I don't know of any other museums that do that. There are a lot of cars in here. I've not really looked at any of them, but I need to go in and find a favourite. But before I do that, I'm going to drive three cars and there'll be three different videos. This is the intro that will go on each video. So you'll see this intro three times and that'll be really boring. One of the cars you might know, the other two you won't. So yeah, that's it. End of message. I've come up to the Great British Car Journey to drive some cars. And basically what you can do, you can come here, you can pay money and you can drive cars around. That, well, they call it Drive Dad's Car. I haven't picked any cars my dad had. In fact, I've picked a car that I already own. This is my first go at driving a standard Hillman Imp. It's familiar, but not familiar. It's more rattly than mine. Massive steering wheel. Oh, there's Hubnut. I tell you what, everything you've heard about these engines, not the, not the bad stuff, the good stuff, how sweet they are and everything, it's completely true. That is so, so sweet. That's one difference between this car and Hilda. Hilda shakes you to bits because all the engine mounts are solid, you know, and well, not solid, but they're, they're hard rubber. This is, oh, the clutches are sharper in this than Hilda. But, um, oh, this engine. <laughs> it's, got some, it's got some character. It really has. It's got some rattles too. Oh, that engine's a honey. That's the most overriding thing that's sticking with me at the moment. Oh, the steering's just, it's lovely, isn't it? It's got a bigger wheel than Hilda's. Of course, Hilda's a little bit more go-karty than this. This is the same dashboard Hilda has. I mean, it's basically the car's the same color, but it's, it's quite familiar. This is what Hilda would have been like as a standard car. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I've just done, I've gone, I've done that wrong. Yeah, it's a bit bumpy, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is, do you know, Hilda... I don't think Hilda is softer than this, but the ride is more composed, but that could be because it's got basically uprated suspension. I love that engine. Oh, that little. Oh, it's just, oh. Oh, that noise. The little exhaust noise. Oh, I've, yeah, I can't believe I've not driven a standard in. This is ridiculous. These are good cars. I think this one needs some bushes. It needs a bit of uh, tightening up, but it's it's good man it's really good the gear change is nicer than mine it definitely is at the moment 
because as I speak, mine is in pieces. So one of the main things I was worried about is that I've ruined Hilda. And I haven't. I haven't ruined Hilda. It does drive like an imp. I was worried that I'd drive this and think that I've absolutely ruined Hilda. And another part of me thought I'd drive this and think this is awful and Hilda's great. But it's the best outcome of the two. The best possible outcome is that they're both great. And they are. This is lovely. I mean, I would 100% have this over a Mini. 100%. Oh, the engine's just... It's so smooth. They say don't meet your heroes. Well, I haven't, because I've got one of these. But this is class. There we go, we're on the right way this time. Oh, I just just go round and round. Are you sure about that? Um, I've been asked to go back and do a photo shoot. The imp doesn't want to go back. Yeah, maybe held is better. Right, so I've been asked to go back to a photo shoot for Practical Classics with all the other YouTubers and the imp has decided that it's quite happy here by the river. So we're probably waiting for people to come and push it so we can bump start it. Um, I think it's just the starter motor, it's not. I know there's a thing about imps being unreliable. It's not unreliable, just ignore this, it's fine. The imp is going again. Absolutely no human intervention needed whatsoever. It's fine. It's all fine. And it lives! Is it a case of don't turn it off? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never... Right, so the weather is doing what it does in England, which is raining. And the imp is doing what they do, which is, well, it's not broken at the moment, it works. But that's because we pushed it. Uh, we can't turn it off, so you'll have to excuse that. Um, I think the starter motor has died. Uh, Hilda's starter motor is fine, just saying. It is bloody horrible here. Right, so while the car's parked up here, I thought I'll go around it quickly and get wet for everyone's amusement. Um, the difference is, I mean, I'm not gonna go into the history of the imp and everything, because if you wanna see that, you can watch someone else's video there's plenty of people who've done that uh, I think Steph drove this car um, around here a couple of years ago um, I'm really looking at this from a different point of view uh, the point of view I'm taking it from is what's it like compared to mine um, because Hilda is not very standard so straight away the color on this particular car I think this is a now I'm looking at it here it doesn't look like Aquarius but I think this is I think this is Aquarius it, Kingfisher Blue was very similar, but I think that's Aquarius. Hilda would be that colour, um, but Hilda had the paint scanned when the respray was done, and it was decided the Vauxhall Carabic Blue was pretty much the same, which is, uh, that's the colour that Corsa GSIs and Astra's Mark III's and things came in the mid-90s. It was decided that was close, and because it was close, it was better to do that, because if you want to have any paint mixed in the future, you can. If you do it with this, you've got to do it old school with weights and things. So, um, so yeah, the colour is pretty similar. Hilda did originally have trims down the side here, but we've I took those out and welded them up. Um, it also had a front bumper, which I've removed, although I have got a tow eye fitted to one of the bumper mounting holes, which came in handy at Goodwood. It's actually very similar, though. I mean, 
this grill at the front on Hilda, I cut this central silver piece out and replaced it with mesh. And then there's a little bit of mesh above and below because of course in Hilda, there's a radiator in the front. There isn't a radiator in the front of this. You'd think the radiator would be in the front of the car, but no, it's in the back. So spec wise, this is, I don't think, I don't, I don't actually know imps. I'm not really a good person to do this but I don't really know them that well. I don't know what spec this is. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. I think this is a super, because it's got this trim. It's got the door cappings and things, which I am putting in Hilda, but Hilda didn't come with originally. Hilda is a deluxe. Um, Hilda didn't originally have this trim on the front. It just had the thin little strip. I'm having to shout because the engine's running, but I can't switch it off. I don't know if I mentioned that. Those wheel trims, I don't think Hilda had. When it was, I've only got a couple of pictures when Hilda was original, or standard. But the uh, white wheels were a thing on Hilda. I don't have that trim, I don't think, or do I? I don't know. But of course, this is a largely standard car. Hilda isn't. So, um, what the f*** are the differences? So the main difference between Hilda and this is undoubtedly what lies under the back. Um, for a start, Hilda has a carbon fibre engine lid. This is, well, I wouldn't say it was heavy, but that's metal. There is an engine. So it's an 8, 875cc inline four, single carburetor. It's not a cross flow head, so the exhaust manifold and the inlet manifold are on the same side of the head. The radiator is over here in this cowling and the water pump is driven continuously by this belt and the fan is bolted on the back of that so the more you rev the engine the more it pulls air through pretty old school really but this is a problem imps had where the engine was all aluminium which in the 60s was witchcraft for a car like this the corrosion you get inside aluminium engines is different to the corrosion you get inside iron block engines and it used to bung up things like the radiator and the water pump and that's when you had overheating problems if you looked after them, they were fine. The only reason they overheated is because people tried treating them like an A-series or something else made of pig iron. Of course, the other difference uh, in the back of this car, other than the fact it's a completely different engine, the exhaust is on the right-hand side on this car. On Hilda, it's on the left. And people who know imps see the exhaust on the left and go, hmm? Huh? Honestly, Believe the hype, that is a sweet, sweet, sweet little engine. The noise you can hear is the heater blower fan, which is behind that vent at the front, the grill. And there's the uh, intake that goes into the cabin. I have moved into the cabin in the Imp, and um, I'm absolutely soaked. Honestly, it's the worst day for this. It really is, it's freezing cold, it's soaking wet, and the car broke down, but, these are the door cappings I'm going to be putting in Hilda. I've got a set of these. I've already put the rear ones in, I think. The rear seat is pretty much the same. The pattern on these is slightly different to what it is on the earlier ones, but otherwise it's, well, it's pleasant. It's basically the same as an imp. One of the main differences in here uh, is the switch gear. I was asked to put the wipers on earlier on, and I was faffing about, like, you know, giving it all that. Oh, that's the lights. Oh, and that, and that's the washer, and then I was pushing buttons and pulling toggles, and basically, it's that. Like that. Otherwise it is all the same as Hilda, only there's no rev counter. Hilda has obviously different gauges and things, and this one looks like it had a radio but got parked in Liverpool. It's a lovely little thing, delightful little car, good leg room. I'm not doing a road test because, I, yeah, I don't need to, I've got one. Right, I'm not getting back out of the car to finish this video off because it is rubbish. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I've ticked a box, I've driven a standard imp, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, and I'm not disappointed, despite the fact that it broke. Uh, that's just the start motor, it's fine. Um, get yourself down to Great British Car Journey. Um, it's a great place, lovely museum, loads of stuff in there to see. Um, and you get to drive these cars, pay a bit of money, um, it's not a lot. And uh, you can go out on an escorted little drive around the course here, which, although you can't go out on the road, and I originally confess, I, I discovered you couldn't go on the road and thought, oh, you don't need to. It's a decent little course. It's you can it's a sort of figure eight, and you can yeah go around the bumps and things and then out the cones. It's about a mile long, so it's worth getting down. 
um, or up as it is for me, up, down. Um, yeah, get yourself down there, drive this car. You can drive this very car. This is in the Drive Dad's Cars range and it's great. Just see if they've sorted the starter motor first. I'm sure they will. They were devastated. <laughs> this is the first time it's given any trouble. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's entitled to do that. Right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. What are you doing? I need a gearbox.